This is tutorial number 82, and it covers the part details within Katia V5. To start off, open up the fishing reel step file, which is included on the DVD. Now the part details are details such as these that say the drag assembly, the handle assembly, and the fishing reel. So it's just how to name and how to kind of organize your part files. And this is the same with your assembly files too. So to access the part details, what you have to do is click, right click on it, click properties, go to product, and you're able to change the names in here. So you're able to change, say like the part number from drag assembly, you're able to change uh, the instance name, uh, the uh, description, everything in here you're able to change. So I'm gonna change this to part number one, change this to one, I'm just going to change everything to 1 just to let you see. Click Apply, and you can see in the box there that everything's changed to 1. Click OK, and now we've changed the name just to 1. So with all of your parts that you make, it's going to give you a generic name, so like Part 1, Part 2, and whatnot. So then from those, you're able to right-click, click Properties, and you're able to put information in, so say Fishing. Click Apply and you can see where it goes. Now for the description, you can say real, click apply, or sorry, the part number you put in, real, click apply, and you have the real in there. Click OK. So now you're able to uh, edit all of your part names. So when you have an assembly such as this, having part names is uh, really nice. Either you'll have say like a number that corresponds to the parts that you have. So it might be, you know, a 10 digit number or, uh, with letters and whatnot, or it might be the actual physical name. So it can be say bolt, nut, uh, screw cap, whatever it may be. And that concludes our tutorial on the part details within Katia V5.